Oh, baby. <laughs> you guys want some balls? No? Everyone excited for another derivative build? All right, let's see this keyboard. What the heck? The stabs are already pre-installed? It's a nice PCB, actually. Damn, that's really pretty. I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna... <laughs> I don't mean to be rude. I might redo these. Yeah, I'm gonna redo them. Production PCB will be dark gray. Dark gray will actually look nice too. I like this too. I think they look like old TX stabs. They kind of do, but... I don't know what lube was used, but I'm not liking the way it looks. So we're gonna just take them apart and redo them. I've been, I've been so particular about stabs lately. It's like uh, the one thing that I care so much about. Also, I'm only not showing you guys because I remember showing you guys the other night and I forgot to show you guys this keyboard. I don't know what I'm doing this stream. Don't be mad at me today, guys. Today I am out of it completely. Let's take a look at the derivative by Mr. JJW. Look at this color. Isn't that beautiful? Not gonna lie. I'm kind of a fanboy of this. So I'm gonna be 100% honest with you guys. This is uh, gonna be kind of biased of me to take a look at this board today, I feel. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? Your color grading is beautiful, bro. It's just, my color grading is just ever so slightly subdued. But I think the colors still show pretty accurately on my stream. It's just, I think the contrast, sorry, not the colors, rather the contrast is. It's a very pretty build. I think to some notable points about this, if we want to take a quick look, I love the detailing inside, even that little subtle gradation of height that comes from the weight, beautiful. I still really like, Ah, dude, this is just very pretty. The PBD, you know, shiny little bit on the weight here too, really makes that stand out. Um, very pretty side profile. It's not a boring box on wedge. It's like a box kinda, has a little again dip there too. But uh, you can see a lot of the curves and whatnot. Very pretty case, very elegant. Uh, in the back of the case, you got the USB-C cable, which is gonna be recessed, hidden, so you won't be able to see any of the, the nastiness of the USB if that bothers you. I like the exposed screws. I'm glad that uh, JJW didn't go the route of hidden screws because I think screws are very pretty. Very, very pretty. And then you get the little derivative, which I don't mind because it's kind of small and honestly, I feel like it's kind of classy looking over there. Very pretty board. Yeah, I really like this. The insides, I don't know, man. All of uh, JJW's keyboards so far, the insides have always been like crazy beautiful for me. Get his little signature there. Very pretty. Yeah, it's a, it's a gorgeous port. Look, I mean, look at that. Even the gradation of height Love over here where the uh, cable wearing. is. Peepo, hey. Thank you, Chick. Uh, appreciate you, dude, Chicken Parm. Very, very pretty. <clears throat> yeah, this is gonna be a nice board today, guys. Ooh, is this polycarbonate? I'm assuming so, it kinda looks like it. But I'm usually wrong about these things. All right, let's put in some switches, shall we? Burgers or hot dogs? I'm not gonna lie, a good hot dog's delicious. I, I like myself a good, good hot dog, but it has to be has to be like all beef or something tasty. Very, very nice. Dude, this is such a pretty color, by the way, guys. Look at that. The way the light reflects differently from like the top camera and stuff like that, very, very pretty blue. BenQ light bar or co copper bottom? I mean, wait, copper bottom for what? Can we appreciate this one more time? Wow. 
Again, the internals here have so much fun detailing to them. Like there's, there's so much fun detailing to look at. Again, I even like the fact that the, um, it has a bit of a raise here in the cable channel as well. Uh, again, the gradation of the, the height on the weight looks beautiful. And I feel like it's not, it's, it's appreciated when you look at it from different lights and stuff. Very, very pretty. Again, looking at the back of the keyboard too. Uh, the, weight the weight definitely looks good with this kind of border that's uh, made by using a subtle curve too. Catches light very nicely. A lot of small details in this that I think go a long way. You know, even the side over here being a few different facets. Catching light, again, very, very pretty. Beautiful looking keyboard. What is growing a watch? What is growing a watch stake? It says it's a way to, a watch stake? Huh? What is that money? I need JJW to offer Costco bundles where you can get all five colors. That means you need to buy a membership. What are the colors gonna be? I need to look at the website. Hello, cable, there we go, I got it. Did this not screw in nicely? Hold on one sec, guys. I can screw in all the screws all the way. To put this down. Ah. The screws I sent for the DB might be a hair long. Uh, if they are just screw even, yeah, that's what I had to do. They, they, seem, they seem to be just a hair, hair long, which is, it's just fine. Okay, there's just one little part that's a little bit too pronounced that JJW was saying, but we should be fine. We're gonna still close it. Shouldn't really impact the build at all, should it? I don't think so. What's the difference between the clear top of Nixie's and the MX Black? Um, I don't wanna sit here and lie and tell you that there's all these minute differences. I just know that there's a milky top on the, the, the Nixie's. I don't know if any of the uh, changes, like was there a different mold made? I'm not too sure. I don't really remember anyways. Do I have CRP? I do. But I think most of my CRP sets are on keyboards. I don't actually have a lot of CRP. I only have three, three sets. Well, not not only three, but um, three compared to everything else that I have. So it's it's not the sets I buy regularly, but I still love them. Yeah, we're good. It's it's a little firmer, which is ideal. But yeah, we're moving we're moving on both sides here. All right, let's take another quick look at this. You missed a compliment? Did I miss one? Did I? Chaser. Chaser. Just like the derivative right now. If I had the opportunity to Costco bundle by you, <laughs> you bet your ass I would, dude. Uh, love you, dude, man. I, I hope that you're having a great day today, Chaser, and I hope that um, the rest of the week goes fantastic for you, all right? Just know that you're worth, you're worth the Costco bundle. What's my favorite linear switch? I like KTT Roses. This blue is a bit warmer or more vibrant. I would say there's a, again, it might not portray that well on stream. I would say there's a slight hint of green to the, to the blue. I wouldn't say it's a warmer, I wouldn't say this leans warm. I do think this leans a little to the greener side of blues, which is kind of nice. Yeah, these are Campfire Andromedas. Uh, I don't know what keycap set I want to put on this. This might look really cool on it. Mix it with some green. I want to do this. I'm doing the space bar last just to taunt you guys. Norse with novelties? I have the novelties. Should I use novelties? <clears throat> All to novelties aren't the same. Oh, that's it. That's all I have. It's just one and two. They probably mean something, but see how nice this is with this? Dude, I'm telling you, this was a good color combo. This was a sick color combo, dude. Look at this. This turned out so nice. Look at the cherry lip in the front. Mmm, so subtle. Dude, this is actually a sick set for this. This is such a nice set for this, dude.
best front lip, yeah, it's a very nice front lip. There's a little bit of, again, some design going on there too. With like, it's not just like a, a direct front lip there. I think you guys can tell with some of the lighting. I know it's kind of tough to get it to focus, but very, very nice, dude. Dude, this keyboard's sick. I wish you all the luck in the group buy. I hope this does well. I hope it will. The seam is nice too. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of glad. So I know one of the more current trends has been using kind of a uh, taper or some sort of like uh, accentuated side, or I guess a lip or not lip, but maybe like a lip where the uh, seam is. I'm kind of glad you decided to not go with a more accentuated uh, tapered lip there because it would think it would take away from the, the rest of the keyboard here because there's a lot of pretty things going on. This is nice. This is very, very pretty. Again, I think I'm a big fan of this. We'll zoom in a little bit here, show you guys more of this up close. Look at that side profile. Very, very pretty. How it compares to the moment. Chamfer, that's the word I'm looking for. Thank you very much. Um, It's gonna be hard for me to recall because I don't have the moment with me. Uh, JJW does. <laughs> but uh, we'll try our best to remember. Dude, I, I love this like milled in border. That is so pretty too. It's not just like a line that was, you know, milled in. It's just like an actual, like that's beautiful. Dude, yeah, this, the inset, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know the terminology guys. I just know it looks pretty, all right? This is a very pretty board. This board is just so fire. Yeah, it's very pretty. Shall we see what this sounds like? We're using uh, Nixie's. Uh, with a polycarbonate plate with the O-ring mount there. Oh, the alphas already sound juicy, baby. All right, let me just type in some random stuff here. Oh, baby. It's definitely a different sound profile than the Envoy. I like both keyboards, like a lot, dude. Dude, that sounds great. Did you spring swap these? These do not feel like stock cherry Nixie switches. Oh, okay, I had a feeling. The PC plate's perfect for this. This is a great combination for this. Okay, and then someone also wanted to see this versus like the Envoy. Again, Envoy though, we're using a long pull switch plus an aluminum plate. I like both of these. Like, I think both of these are very different. Yeah, I like both. The derivatives definitely have uh, the lower end of the sound profile. I like, you know what? I like this a little bit more than the moment. Hope that's okay to say, JJW. Uh, this is a polycarbonate uh, plate with O-ring. Uh, it is beautiful. This is... I'm gonna have to make this exact same build if I, if I get one of these. Jeez, man, this sounds great. This sounds super good, dude. Uh, lower pitch in comparison? Yeah, very, very low pitch in comparison. It could also be a difference of the plate and stuff like that. Um, definitely between the Envoy and this, but just the way that we built them to showcase some different sound profiles. I still like both. I think both are great. Okay, we'll, we'll do a little... The alphas sound fantastic. Damn, that sounds really good. Very, 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 very much into this. 
Definitely pretty. Actually, another subtle thing that I've just kind of like caught my eye to is the cherry lip isn't exactly straight. It's um, bowed. So it is kind of like a U almost, like a very exaggerated U. I don't know if you guys caught that as well. Definitely adds some stuff to the uh, the top frame of the keyboard as well. Very pretty, like a derivative. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. You guys, um, I don't know what a derivative is, so. I'm just gonna pretend I do, but it's a nice keyboard. <laughs> that's the board uh, that smiles back. It's the board that smiles back. Calculus go burr. I'm gonna go rest up now. Peace out, everyone. Love you guys, bye. Oh, baby.